So let's get started by learning how to control our mouse using the pi input library. So for that we just need to add that pi input to our project. We can do that by using the from keyword and then just typing pi input. And then we don't need the whole library right now. So I'm just going to import the mouse part. So for that you can just write the mouse. And then I need the controller to control the mouse from this library. So I'm just going to write import controller. Now we have everything that we need to control a mouse. So the next thing I'm going to do is just create a new function and let's call it control mouse seems appropriate. And I'm going to create four functions. That is each function would be dedicated to each of these functionalities. So for example, controlling your mouse, will have this function and listening to your mouse will have another function. So I'm doing this because I'm going to be teaching you all of these four things and I don't want the code to be messy. So yeah, that's the reason I'm going to be making four functions. So let's get started with our first function that is the control mouse function. Now inside this control mouse function, I'm going to call the controller object and store it inside the variable. So I'm just going to call the variable as mouse and then I'm going to call the controller object and now I can use this mouse variable to do whatever I want with the mouse. So for example, control the mouse by changing its position. So I can just write mouse dot position and then I can give it a value of 10 comma 20. Now what is this 10 comma 20? These are actually the pixels. So what you can imagine is that this top corner, top left corner is actually 0 comma 0. And what 10 means is that I want this I want the cursor to move from 0 comma 0 to 10 pixels on the right hand side and then what this 20 means is after it has moved 10 pixels from left to right I want it to move 20 pixels from top to bottom so somewhere around over here so let me just add a comment that will remind you what this 10 comma 20 means I'm just going to add it on the top of this control mouse function so left to right and then the 21 is top to bottom and then let me just add another comment from top left of the screen you can imagine the top left to be 0 comma 0 comma 0 yeah so this top left of the screen is 0 comma 0 and when you write 10 comma 20 for example it moves from left to right 10 pixels and then from top to bottom 20 pixels so if we change this to for something like 100 comma 200 it's going to move 100 pixels to the right and then that is 100 comma 200 so 200 pixels to the bottom so it will make 100 comma 200 pixels so the last thing that we need to do is just call the control mouse function so i'm just going to write control mouse and that should be enough now you need to watch my mouse position that is the mouse cursor very closely because when I click over here that is click on run control it's going to change my mouse position from over here to somewhere around here that is 10 comma 20 pixels. So let's just click on run control and just make sure that you are watching the mouse cursor position very closely. So when I click on it it changes my position to over here. Let me do it again so that you guys can see it properly. So I click over here and then I don't move my mouse. So I just click over here and my mouse position is changed to 10 comma 20 pixels. Let's try out different positions. So I'm just going to write 100 comma 200 and let's see where that takes me. So I'm just going to click on run control and my mouse position changed to over here. But let's say I want to change my mouse position to somewhere around here and this should be around like 500 pixels. So I'm just going to change this to 500 and click on run control and now my mouse position is over here so what is happening in 500 comma 200 pixels so first is going from left to right 500 pixels and then is going from top to bottom 200 pixels and that's why it's landing somewhere around over here now that we know how to control a mouse using the pi input library let's also learn how to control our keyboard using the pi input package so the first thing we need to do is actually import the controller of the pi input dot keyboard so I'm just going to copy and paste this just below this import, the first import. And instead of the mouse, I'm just going to type in the keyboard. So keyboard. And one thing that you need to know is that you can't really control mouse and keyboard at the same time using the Pi input library. So whenever you are using the controller of the keyboard, you can't really use the controller of the mouse. 
As you can see, this first controller has become obsolete and it says unused import statement. Because you are importing the controller of the keyboard, you can't really import the controller of the mouse. So to make sure that the error doesn't come, we'll remove this calling of control mouse over here. And after this, we are just going to create a new function and let's call it control keyboard. All right. And then inside this function, the same thing, this mouse equals to controller. I'm just going to copy and paste this. And instead of the mouse, I'm just going to write keyboard. So I'm basically storing again the object of controller inside this keyboard variable. After this, I'm just going to write keyboard dot type. And inside this, inside double quotes, I'm just going to write the text that I want to be automatically typed from my keyboard without actually typing it. So inside this, I'm just going to write, I am freaking awesome and put an exclamation mark. And then I'm just going to call this function of control keyboard. Now what this is going to do is it's going to see where our cursor is and then it's going to type, I am freaking awesome after the cursor. So for right now, our cursor is over here. And if we execute this control.py file, as you can see, it types in, I am freaking awesome over here. So let's change our cursor position from over here to somewhere over here. Let's give it a space. And then I'm going to run this control.py file again. And as you can see, it types in, I am freaking awesome automatically into our file. So this is how you are able to control your keyboard. So guys, this is pretty much it. In this video, we learned how to control our mouse and our keyboard using the spy input library. In the next video, we are going to learn how to listen to the position of the mouse in real time and how to listen to the keystrokes of a keyboard. And we'll be using this last part in our keylogger. So we'll also be integrating the last part into our main.py file. So I'll see you in the next video.